Afghanistan is facing a deepening humanitarian crisis. Millions of people are facing starvation. Almost the entire country is short of food and some residents are even selling their organs in order to survive. These harsh types of conditions have existed for many years. Dr Mohammed Hakmal was a senior Afghan government official who was kidnapped and tortured by the Taliban. He defied Taliban requests to release their prisoners from prison hospitals so they could return to fighting. He escaped only because of the fear his captors had been had about being caught by Afghan police. Dr Hakmal has since been granted refugee status in the UK and has one main aim, to change the lives of poor people. Joining me live now is the former Afghan senior health official and current lecturer at the University of London in UK, Mohammed Hakmal. Thanks so much for your time. You are in London, but I know you're across what is happening in Afghanistan. Why is this happening? And is the West just standing by allowing it to? Well, uh, thank you very much for having me, Lara. As you rightly mentioned, well, uh, currently, unfortunately, we have very big, you know, like biggest the humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan. And it has also, there is there are multiple factors involved in that one. So the drought, uh, conflict over these, let's say, four decades, and also the financial uh, restrictions also from the Western world, specifically, specifically the Americans, and also we have pandemic. So these are and political instability. So there is, let's say, there is four factors playing an important roles during the current humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan. And unfortunately, 23 million Afghans, which is like 55 percent of the Afghans, they do not have you know access to food. So they need urgent humanitarian support. And it's also the same for the children. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. over one million children are at the uh, risk of dying, you know, because of the malnutrition. So if the world don't increase the level of support that they are also providing to the Afghans, so unfortunately, during the, at the end of the uh, winters, over one million Afghan uh, children will also die. Indeed. And part of the problem is the, the funding, the frozen funds. Western nations don't want to be seen to and don't want to uh, work with the Taliban, which they fought against for, for two decades. But in the end, this is hurting Afghans. Not only people selling their organs, some are selling their children. That's the reality of life there. Unfortunately, all those informations that you are also seeing in different media, these are the reality. I am also in contact on a regular basis, you know, with my Afghan fellows in the ground. Most of the schools are also like closed and also clinics and hospitals that they that these were also highly dependent on foreign aids. Unfortunately, these are also closed. And just this month, you know, we had 150, you know, kids died also because of the measles. And there is around 25,000, you know, positive cases all over Afghanistan. So the health system is also collapsing. And so it's not only one sector, you know, multiple sector has been highly uh, impacted, you know, by this crisis. And I think what we as in Afghans need from the international community to increase their level of support and because what we are also seeing so far in the ground, the current uh, response to the humanitarian crisis has not been very successful. And unfortunately, it will not only affect the Afghan lives inside Afghanistan, there will be also a negative impact on the in midterm and also in, immediately on the Western world. Like, as I mentioned already, so there's, uh, there will be a high number of infectious disease load in the country that will not only affect Afghans, it will also affect, you know, other countries specifically when Afghans are not traveling, you know, to the other parts of the world. Yeah, indeed. Well said, Mohammed Hakmal. We will keep across this story. It's one we will continue to highlight. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank you very much.